uh, make friends with our wife. Uh, I would do that, except for how I'd rather make friends with, like, foreign rulers. One of her friends is in jail? Imprisoned by me. <laughs> how did you make friends with this guy? I imprisoned him and his family. I forgot I have all these guys in my prison. I could flog them for no reason. Arrange a gladiatorial debut because I am violent. Uh, or Cassandra the Violent. I, I gained the nickname of the Violent. Will gain popularity based on the outcome of the match. Although I lose oratory power. And military. I really don't want to lose oratory power right now. Could execute him. I'd gain popularity. I'd pay religious though. I'll leave him to rot in jail for now. We'll see if maybe someone wants to pay a ransom for him in the future or something. Uh, right. Let's let's arrange that marriage, though. I will gladly arrange a marriage for one of my governors. Let's have him marry someone... Uh, how old is he? He's 23, so they've got to be pretty young. Um, preferably they could have a kid. Uh, <laughs> lapsed believer, sarcastic, blunt, and deceitful. What a perfect wife. I'm picking that one. <laughs> oh, man. He just... Sorry, second son. I know you're not chosen to rule the country, but at least you can, you can govern this area over here that I'm going to make a borderlands against your will, and you need to deal with the most annoying woman on earth. <laughs> you could demand that he supports your heir. Uh, this guy supports my heir, actually. Uh, he's fine with it. I don't have anyone who's not supporting my heir right now, or else I'd have a notification. Uh, he's cool with his, el his older brother inheriting the kingdom. There we go. He's married. Yay. So that'll, uh, he'll gain some popularity because he'll fulfill his ambition. That's cool. There we go. Now he wants to have a son. Well, he's got a, he's got a young wife. He can have a son now. The people in prison. Oh, I can demand people in prison support my heir. Oh, um, I've got no reason to do that. Support for my heir is quite strong. I'm not worried about that. Yeah. Succe the succession support is huge for him. He's got a lot of supporters. There's almost no supporters for anyone else. I'm not worried. And the government's legitimacy is at 100. So I'm not concerned. Has everybody liking the game so far? Are you interested? Oh, before I forget also. Let's make this a Borderlands now. Because seriously, I'm really not a fan of local autonomy. Are these people like unhappy otherwise? No, they're really happy. Like everybody here is really happy. They don't need this happiness bonus. Uh, I'm changing that. I'll gain uh, a little bit of tyranny, I believe. Oh no, I'm not gonna gain tyranny. Really? It's probably because he likes me so much then. Because there, there are some switches you can do that create tyranny, and I think it's because they don't like you enough that you're going against what their wishes are. Uh, I will change that to a, to a Borderlands for the... Um, oh no, we did gain the tyranny, never mind. Uh, we switch that to a Borderlands, drop 50 oratory power, and we'll get a lot more manpower out of this region now. In fact, uh, they already have three training camps in their capital. Cool. I'm going to build another training camp there, and we still have money when in there. Yeah, just one in there. We'll hold on to a little bit of money. There we go. We're going to really try and get some, some manpower out of there. You're significantly less terrified now that you've seen more sweet. Doodle Noodle, pre-order the deluxe version for yourself and a friend. I hope you guys have fun. That's awesome. Uh, now the slaves are sad. As there should be no happy slaves around. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to keep slaves happy, I find. Yeah, they're pretty unhappy. It's hard to keep slaves happy, mostly because they have no freedom. <clears throat> Shoring up defenses. The denizens of the shining city of Acanthos have been feuding with their neighbors in... Targilos. As a result, an impressive fortified wall has been erected in Acanthos, quite outstanding, uh, outdoing the efforts of their rival. As they say, conflict drives innovation. I agree. Uh, so I can gain a free fortress in the city of Acanthos, or say not this time, fuck off. Um, that sounds pretty nice. Although I do need to pay maintenance cost on forts. So you don't want to go crazy with the forts. Where is the city of Acanthos? So it's F to find. So I want to find 
Uh, Acanthos. The city of Acanthos is right here. I do not need a fort there. There is no reason to have a fort there. Not this time. Sorry. I have no idea what a borderlands is. Just keeps making me think, think of a plan of sand and rock bits. Uh, a borderlands, basically, this is my buffer zone of this is my borderlands. This is along the border of the country with an enemy country. So the bonuses are to manpower and to fort defense. It's about fortifying the first place they'll attack if they declare on us. But the Borderlands, because it also just gives you a lot of manpower, you could just use it to jack up your manpower and make sure you're combat ready. Which is what I'm doing. I just want to make sure that I'm getting serious manpower. Right, by the way, I just realized I was misreading. Uh, the These guys, the, uh, the, the our vassals, they aren't giving us population specifically. They're actually giving us manpower. Small amounts, but they're giving us manpower. Which I would rather be given manpower than than, like, money taxes. Uh, soldiers are more important to me. Okay, so we can get another tech. Or I could take a trade route right now, actually. But there are so many good things here. I, I could actually just build up finesse, because um, when we get to the next tech level, which is not super far off, there's a lot of stuff that I want. When I hear Borderlands, I think of Borderlands too. There's that too. Uh, I think I'm actually going to hold on to a lot of finesse right now, so I'm just going to take a trade route. We can have one trade route. Yeah, there's one place that can still have a trade route down here. But can he set that up? I don't know if he can, actually. Hold on. Do we actually own land in here? Oh, we own, we own this island right there. I wasn't aware that was in our control. Yeah, we have iron there for making heavy infantry. You know what? I'm actually not going to worry about that. I'm gonna say I'm gonna start banking a lot of finesse for huge, huge tech upgrades. Laughed at money taxes. Yeah, you have to specify when you play a lot of Crusader Kings too, because taxes are both in money and in levy. So uh, you need to specify what kind of tax you're talking about. Lofty ambitions. Megalius and his dreams of high office are fairly well known in Macedon, but recently he's been lobbying more urgently of his suitability and deservedness. Well, ordinarily we would be able to uh, be able to appoint whoever we like to the post without causing offense and or starting rumors. The enthusiasm of Megalius has put us in a rather awkward position regarding the incumbent official. We should approach this carefully. So this guy. He's a, he's a researcher. Actually, that's something I should have paid closer attention to is the skill of my researchers. Um, because that's, I consider that to be very important. Um, this is our current guy. So what is this? He wants to become the hero fant. What, what is that? Uh, he wants to be the religious head. That's what this is, right? The highest priest. Yeah, he wants to be the high priest. Um, they're both the same skill in terms of religion. In fact, the current guy would be a better commander. He's a researcher. What kind of researcher is he? He's the religious researcher. I could just swap this guy to being the religious researcher. Now, uh, no matter what I pick, someone loses loyalty. Uh... Uh, I'm just going to say perhaps later. Lose the loyalty on the guy with higher loyalty. Because if I lost the loyalty on the current guy, uh, it could actually be bad. Okay, so this guy has a marshal of nine. That's pretty solid. I wish there was a quick way to do... Oh, there we go. Um, finesse of nine. That's good. Oratory of ten. That's really good. And Zeal of 8, that's good. All these guys are pretty good. And I could replace this guy with someone a little bit better. And he's loyal, I'll do it. It'll piss off the other guy because he got fired, but whatever. And no, no, and no. We got like the best researchers we can have right now of people who aren't busy with other jobs. Smash Gunner, whoa, Crusader Kings looks different today. A heroic elephant. I don't know why you brought up a heroic elephant, but now I want to import elephants. Although they're really heavy on supply, I believe. Plus, 
Our whole ability in military is we start off with the phalanx tactic. I want lots of heavy infantry to make use of that phalanx. Let's, why import elephants, right? I don't even have, like, special tactics for that or anything. An elephant or two would be nice, but, uh, fighting in these semi-developed Greek places, I'd rather a lot of heavy infantry in proper phalanx position. <clears throat> it's come to our attention that our trusted advisor, uh, right, this was Ferris? I, I don't remember. Has been siphoning funds from our treasury into his own pockets for some time. Fucker, I took you in when I conquered your country. I could have executed your 19... Was he 18 at the time? Your old ass. The disappearance of monies collected from across Mesa Don... You mean money? Eventually arouses suspicion, which combined with the eyebrow-raising extravagance, such as extremely flattering statues of fire as being... Uh, right, it's Fyrick, right? Uh, being erected couldn't be written off as mere coincidence. Abuses of this kind surely must not be tolerated, lest the entire state apparatus becomes a charade uh, uh, for personally enriching vain aristocrats. The specific punishment is, however, up for debate. Alright, what do we do with this fucker? He, right, he's that unpronounceable government title. Um... He is the guy giving us morale of armies. Shit. And his replacement would be this guy who's not as good. He'd drop us by 1%. I'm not happy about this one. Okay, what can we do to him? We can say he's learned his lesson. He gains a lot of corruption and loyalty. He's already quite loyal. I lose a lot of prior uh, popularity and gain corruption. I do have a, an ability or two that actually helps me get rid of corruption at a decent rate. So I could afford to take on some corruption. Um, recoup our losses, which is he loses the money and we get a big lump sum of money. Enough for like two buildings almost. Um, we both gain a little corruption, lose a little popularity and loyalty. That's not that bad. Or he's forfeited his position. Take the money, he loses a lot of loyalty, I get popular. You know what? Is that, uh, Pyrus of, uh, Epirus? Yes, we conquered him. And we decided to let him live and join our government. Uh, because he's actually quite talented, but now he's been caught siphoning funds from our government. Um... He's forfeited his position. I'll take the small hit in our government, take the money, get the popularity. Fuck that guy. He's lost his position in government. We'll take this guy. This guy's also... No, that's the same guy. I'm an idiot. We'll <laughs> We're not going to give him his position right back. Fuck that guy. We'll take this guy. He's less popular. He's one of our family members. Um, oh, no, he's not one of our... It's an adjacent family. Uh, but he's, he's very loyal. He's almost as good at the job. We'll take him. Okay, aggressive expansion is starting to go down a decent degree. we got to start considering what our next war is going to be. Um, is there any big group of alliances in here? Because if I could just declare war on one dude and get pulled into a bunch of small wars that I could easily win, then I could just conquer them all in one go rather than having to pay oratory power over and over and over to get claims on every little place. I'd rather just get a claim on one place, take all this unjustified land heap on the aggressive expansion and then develop my new lands, you know? Um, so let's go to Diplomatic. And uh, so yeah, we're on good terms with these guys. Oh, we own this port right here. Okay. And these guys are one of our vassals, so is this little city-state. What is our relation with these guys? That's Sparta. Sparta and another place. Um, why is that dark purple? What does that mean? Does that mean they don't like us? Yeah, they don't like us. Um, if I click on them... Yeah, they they don't really have any friends, do they? Uh, yeah, they're in some wars. Oh, that means that's places they're at war with. So they're in some wars right now, they have no alliances. In fact, they're importing from us. Are any of these people in alliances? Okay, these two aren't in alliance. Okay, hold on. This guy is in an alliance with a bunch of people. I could declare war on him, maybe. What about this city-state? 
local power, actually. They must... Oh, yeah, because they also own that city. Okay. They own two cities. They're quite small. Okay, they have a big triangle alliance. If I declare war on this guy, um, I could get myself in a few border wars here. What about this guy? I actually like the land more of this guy's alliances, where it's also got these ones. This would give us almost all of this little coastal bit. Okay. Purple is trading. Thank you, Fireground. I appreciate that. Still learning all the different color coding. I think I like the wars I'd get pulled into if I were to declare war on... Botia? I, d I don't not even know where to start on that. Going, going out for a run and exercise. San Fibian, thanks for the invite, the kind of new words. I'll DM you later. Uh, if you're absolutely DM me later. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm digging the idea of declaring a war on him then. Uh, we're both an... Or, uh, or rather, he is a oligarchic republic. I am monarchy, right? Um, let's start getting some people on that border. What's, what's our attrition like down there? Our supply limit? We're actually good. Okay, and uh, he had an alliance with these guys as well, so I gotta park someone on that border. We'll move him over there in those mountains for now. Okay, and do I want the... Which side do I want the navy on? Do I want to split my navy, actually? How many ships do you guys have? None. Do you even have wood? He doesn't. He just has olives. Oh, and he's got pot earthenware. Wow, he's that country is not doing well. Do these guys have any ships? No. Uh, I may as well split the. I may as well split it then, right? And then there's these guys. No ships. Okay. All right. One navy will be in here. Okay, uh, you guys can just preemptively circle around. Actually, get over there, that slightly closer port that we own. Petitioner approaches. Ah, we've had this one before, yes. He had a vision of the near future where he was, where, uh, he was found by his loved ones having been crucified by zealots. So he'll give me a bunch of money, or I can gain oratory power. I'm actually going to take the oratory power this time. Oratory power is worth, much like monarch points in the U4, the Monarch Points are worth more, like a lot more, than individual money. Because, like, look at this. This is, the money is three times more money than we're getting in Oratory Power, roughly. However, the actual exchange rate of them, we gain money a lot faster. We have a lot of opportunities to get money. Whereas, uh, what was it under to exchange that? Here we go. You gotta pay a few hundred to convert into Monarch Points, just for 25 points. So convince him that all will be well. The Oratory Pair is worth a lot more, and our money is so healthy right now that I'm not going to go for emergency funds. See ya, Doodle Noodle. Alright. Alright, our ships arrived over there. That's beautiful. Um, Oh, they also have a port there, do they? Okay. Then the other group of three will be in there. Call to arms from Thrice? Hold on. They're in a war. Against that tiny city-state. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and this tiny city-state. Yeah, I'll join your war. Okay, army maintenance, sure. Regular army maintenance. I don't even need to participate in that. Like, seriously. It's two city-states. It's two city-states. Why do they even ask me? Like, do they think they need help? Damn, not here. Damn, not here. Thanks for following, or thanks for subscribing, Nathan. Uh, I hope you enjoy your dumb emotes in my dumb face. Importing wine from Macedonia. Um, how much wine do we have there? We actually have a really healthy surplus. I'll take it. Take the money. Alright. We're getting a lot less money per turn now that we're actually paying the army properly again. We're playing, paying proper maintenance. 
Uh, you want... Yeah, sure, you can have military access. Cassandra the Frail. Oh no, we might be getting old. Of late, Cassandra the Violent has begun feeling the bite of the cold and can hardly bring himself to struggle up the stairs. We've become frail. How old are we? We're 54. Our health is worse and our martial is down, which means we are gaining less martial. That sucks. We still have decent martial, but it sucks. Damn. Not here. Okay. Our ships are in their ports where I want them for our next war. Good. And our aggressive expansion is still kind of high, but what does it, how does that affect the opinion? People have 39 less opinion of me due to aggressive expansion. I could take on some more. It's actually going to be a smaller land grab than our previous one, so we're not going to generate as much. And we got a gift from a local power, from, from these guys. Okay. I'll take your money. And now that we have a bunch of money again, uh, it's time to get some more manpower. We can really get a lot of manpower this land. This is pretty good population land. Okay, I'm happy with that. And again, hold on to some case of, like, an emergency. Okay. Now we could get our... Oh, hold on, you're in a war? Who are you against? Oh, that city-state? That's fine. War of aggression. For show superiority? Why would you do a show superiority war? What a weird thing for them to do. Actually, let's, uh... Right. Uh, we are pretty close to being able to sacrifice to the gods to get stability. Have the monster Matanza hit the wrath of the gods on the ancient Aztec seal. Someone in the chat will get that and I'll love them forever for it. Um, yes, I will sell you fish. I want money. Hey, Siri. Okay, uh, the armies are in a position that I'm pretty happy with right now. Can I afford to move you there? I can, so I will. Who here doesn't have a general? You? We'll take this guy that we fired before. He can lead an army. Right, that guy can move over here. Didn't realize there was another stack there. There we go. And I don't need admirals with every last navy. Bitter feud. The court is bustling with sycophants, claimants, and pretenders. It is of little surprise, therefore, that two of the most ambitious claimants to the throne, Amesadon, have found themselves at odds. Uh, these conflicts have a way of getting out of hand. Perhaps we ought to step in and limit the potential for escalation. <laughs> I was gonna answer about uh, Matan's why I don't spoil anyone for Lucha Underground. <laughs> this is Fran Hardy. I was, I, all I was saying is uh, that's how you do the sacrifice to the gods. Is clearly you, you call out the, the monster Matanza, he hits the wrath of the gods on the ancient Aztec seal. That's how you sacrifice stuff. All right, um, let them fight. Uh, Alexander, one of my generals, gets a feud with Philip. Uh, Philip, of course, is the heir of the country, actually. Not the time to squabble like children. They both lose some loyalty. I don't like the idea of one of my generals losing loyalty. Side so of Philip, the chosen heir. That makes Phil or Alexander lose even more. Fuck's sake. Um, let them start seeing each other as rivals. That has the least chance of consequence. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I think we're pretty much ready for this war. I'm gonna fabricate a claim. We fabricated our claim. And we are, in fact, yeah, we are, we do have proper army maintenance, just making sure. The Olympic Games have started again. Who do I want to send this time? One of my generals? No. I'll send this guy. Didn't I fire him once? I think so. I think I fired him once. Send him. 
How are we enjoying this so far? It's very fun. Oh, we can get a military tradition. Okay. Uh, cohort starting experience up. That's nice. Experience decay slower. That's nice. Uh, heavy infantry morale. I do like heavy infantry a lot. And light cavalry discipline. That is also good. Hold on. What do these lead to? Raid of Port's ability. That is kind of nice. Okay. Siege ability up by a lot. That is good. Military colonies. Yeah. That will help with manpower, won't it? Fort defense. This seems to be very heavy. Uh, a, lo a lot of focus on uh, heavy infantry and manpower and siege. Which I dig that idea. Uh, morale, mercenary cost. I'm not a big mercenary guy. Cavalry skirmishing tactics. That's nice. Yeah, this is kind of a this is a lot of skirmishing and mercenary stuff. I'm digging the middle route so far. You can mix and match, of course, but I kind of want to go hard into the middle one. Although I do like veterans of the Great Campaign. That is honestly a really good one there. Getting rid of um, or lowering experience decay and cohort starting experience higher. But I think I do want to go into heavy infantry morale right now. That's a very strong immediate bonus for us. And in fact, let's make sure every army is set to phalanx. Not shock. Because our army is really built for phalanx. Take advantage of that. Navies don't pick tactics, right? Correct. Uh, they want access to my lands. Sure. I can declare. All right. Oh, enemy allies. One of them is Thrice. What? Oh, they're guaranteed by Thrace. I didn't realize that. Oh, I've made a mistake. Um, I don't want to enforce that claim because Thrace is A, my ally, and B, very dangerous. 26 cohorts. Um, hmm. I don't like that. Do they have a navy? They do have a bit of a navy. I have misjudged this and lost a lot of oratory power. That's a shame. Hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on. If I were to declare on someone else here. Because I want a lot of this land up here. Okay, that would give me this, this, and this if I took out Sparta. Sparta doesn't even have a navy right now. I could take them easy. They're guaranteed by who? Oh, Jesus, fuck that. Oh, God, who here isn't guaranteed by someone huge? There, these guys aren't guaranteed by anyone huge. We'll get them. Oh, never mind. Uh, uh, well, they're in a defensive league with them, but they're also in alliance with them. I'll take these guys on. Okay, I can fabricate a claim soon. Fuck, man. Okay. I lost out on a lot of... Uh, that was me being reckless there, but it's a learning experience. We lost out on a lot of oratory power that we're not going to get back. That's really a shame. There we go. What? Why? But you don't... Did I misread it again? Guaranteed Thrace. What? Did I glaze over that and not notice it, or did they just sign that? I think I might have just not noticed it. Fuck, I got to get better about that. Okay, that's fine. That just means that Thrace is my next target, isn't it? Yes, because they only have an alliance with me. I'm going to conquer them then. We're good. They're my next target. Okay. Okay, I'm allowed to go there. I cannot go there. The attrition would be bad. I can go there. And I can go there. And select the whole navy. Okay. Better luck next time. We didn't win. We're going to conquer our neighbors next. Hey, Metalizer. Glad to see you're playing Imperator. It's very fun so far. I like it. We're about to hit the next tech level on everything. Nice. Okay. Get all my troops up there. We have much bigger army than theirs. Uh, I would like to dissolve our alliance. Wait, what is that under again? 
Why would that not be under... Oh, dissolve this alliance. Here we go. Uh, breaking an alliance whenever one is at war together is not really done. Right. I forgot we're in a war together. 